dress up in costumes for this bridge run. Um, so it's very exciting. It's very exciting. Um, people. Alex Bozargian was covering a fun run for her Savannah, Georgia station. That's WSAV on Saturday. And you can see one of the runners, a man in a blue long sleeve T-shirt, as he moves behind her and appears to slap her on her backside. Bozargian tweeted this following that incident to the man who smacked my butt on live TV. You violated, objectified and embarrassed me. She's also filed a police report yesterday and the man has been banned from future races. And Alex joins us now. Alex, good morning. Good morning. Mm. So the, the video tells almost the whole story. You can see your reaction. But what were you thinking? That reaction is so priceless. It says so much. What was going through your head that moment it happened? Well, the moment it happened, um, you know, you, you, you're in disbelief. Yeah. You, you feel like, did, did that really just happen? Um, so it took some time to process. Um, but it was extremely vulnerable. Um, you know, and I think... I would say that the reason why, you know, maybe it caught so much fire is because um, the emotion is extremely relatable for women all over the world. Not only for journalists working on TV, but yeah. for women in general. I mean, this is a workplace issue. <clears throat> right, right. Um, and you say that slap actually stung. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, it was a heavy impact. It yeah. seemed very deliberate, too. When you're watching it, right, it seemed right. very deliberate. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, if you, I've, I've of course, watched the video multiple times because you look at it and it feels like it's not you. It's like you're watching somebody else. Um, but he separates himself from the runners and yeah. he kind of winds up and, um, you know, he, he hit me hard. I mentioned that it's deliberate because isn't he saying it was an accident, that he didn't do it on purpose? Because the tape certainly <laughs> tells a very different story. Right, yeah. Um, he did try to, you know, make contact um, um, with our um, station, with the station that I work with, um, and, um, you know, kind of, you know, was saying that his intentions were not, you know, to hurt me. He didn't intend to do it, um, which, you know, not going to really debate that because he hurt me. But so now that you've had time to think about it, because at first you are stung, clearly startled, are you angry, frustrated, saddened by it? What are you thinking? Um, I think immediately after, um, after you kind of sort through the vulnerability of the situation, um, you are inundated with some female guilt. Guilt? Um, That's interesting. Guilt, Alex. Why? Um... I guess maybe because of all of the um, social media attention, mm -hmm. of course, there's been an outpouring of support from so many people, men, women, you know, um, people of all ages. You've also had people, though, say, accept the apology, move on, you said. Right. Yeah. Um, accept the apology. Um, it's your fault. You put yourself in the line of fire. Mm -hmm. um, line, of fire. line of fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Essentially, just I mean, maybe that comes from a misunderstanding of what live reporting doing your job. Is. Yeah. Right. There's and do you have a statement from Yeah, the, we need to the read lawyer, this lawyer's yeah. the, the, the runner's lawyer sent a statement saying they regret the situation, but he, quote, did not act with any criminal intentions, that he's a loving husband and father, and they don't expect any criminal charges. Uh, are you open to hearing what he has to say? Um, I think um, what is most important here is that he took my power, and I'm trying to take that back. Um, mm -hmm. And um, whether I... I'm open to it or not. Um, I want to take my time with that. Um, and um, I think what it really comes down to is that he helped himself to a part of my body. Mm -hmm. I, I think I think mm -hmm. took my power is a really powerful phrase uh, it, because there are people and you've heard from them who are saying, what's the big deal? You know, he was a being rambunctious real quickly because we do have to go. What's the reaction to those people? Um, my reaction to that. Um, quickly. Oh, we sorry. Go. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, cutting sure. us. We'll take right. it to social media. We'll get sure. that reaction. All right. Well, and we'll be right back. Stay with us. The question is, you know, there are people that have been writing to you. You showed me one of the emails. We're saying, look, uh, the guy was being rambunctious. It's not a big deal. You're being a brat. Get over it. So what, like, what's the reaction to that point of view? Well, I would say that maybe 10 years ago, that was a more common thing in the culture. Um, but um, it's not OK now. Um, it's, it's not OK to to help yourself to a woman's body just because you feel like it. It's not playful. Um, he hurt me um, both physically and emotionally. Um, and uh, I think in order to make any kind of change, um, you have to be a little bit drastic and you have to um, kind of chip away at this toxic culture that permeates our society. Um, you filed a police report. I do, you, do you plan on pressing charges? Um, at this point, not totally at liberty to say to go into that. Um, I'm, I'm just hoping that police can do their job, um, you know, kind of leaving it in their hands at this point. Um, but I did make that first step. 
It's a line in the sand moment, it sounds like for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Thank you, Alex. Thank you very much.